eventually things are going to change. Things have to change. You're going to develop different interests, different tastes, different looks, different appeal. You become smarter. You realize the value of certain things, you know? Like some nice shoes and some nice shorts and some nice hair and some nice lips. Get some chapstick and some lotion and all of that stuff. You don't want to take care of yourself that much because maybe it's not the man thing to do. You know what I mean? Like maybe I'm a little bit less of a man for taking care of myself a little bit too much. Or is that just a hillbilly mentality? Probably. It's probably. Yes. But I don't want to be a hillbilly anymore. I graduated to gutter rat. Yes, gutter rat. That Maybe that's what I am now. Just some little gutter rat trying to chew through a lead pipe to get to the sweet, sweet beehive nectar. I don't know what kind of weird noises I'm trying to make with my mouth. Maybe I should try to make something legitimate come out of my mouth, like some kind of deer call or robot call. Signal the wild robots to come and have fun. My pet robot I adopted from the wild. Wow, that's a sketch. I'm thinking of sketches now. You know what? I probably just need to write this stuff down and, you know, see if anything's really worth pursuing or putting some effort in. You know, I have a long list of stuff. You know, if you're if you're going to, like, actually, you know, try to come up with funny stuff or really anything... You need to just lay out a bunch of ideas for yourself because you know what? You're going to need a lot of ideas. So if you can't come up with a lot of ideas, chances are you're useless and worthless. And if you try to write a book or try to get a job at some place as a writer, you're probably not going to be that great. But me, I'm really good. I've been doing this a long time. I've grinded my brain to the bone. Wait, there's no bone inside your brain. Is there? Can you feel it? Your brain's too squishy to have a bone inside of it. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I just, you know, I don't know, man, if it's like I'm on some weird acid trip. I'm not on acid, but I'm just saying it's just like I, I think and I think things and it feel I feel a certain way. Like, isn't that crazy how like something can just make you feel a certain way just with the simplicity of the word combination or something? You know, like like me, just the way I look right now and everything that I'm doing. I don't really know if it's good enough to satisfy people because it just seems like everyone's dissatisfied and not very happy with life because, you know, they're they're practically just waiting to die. They're waiting for the end. They're waiting to just close their eyes and put the nickels on top of their little, their little, little, little camel humps on their face, you know, coming down, holding the water in, side, hydration, until you let it out. The camel's back. The center of hydration. The working man's water bottle. Yes. You know, if you were starving in a desert and you had a camel, could you actually, like, get the water in their back? Because I heard they have water. They store water. That's crazy. Why don't we have that? Have, like, an extra stomach with just, it just keeps water in there. Oh, yeah, because we're smart and we just have a water bottle. Yeah, that's it's it's my stomach outside of my stomach. Speaking of that, I need to get some water. Um, <clears throat> that's that's pretty interesting. Yeah, human beings are very resourceful. We have hands, so we don't need to develop pumps in our back like we're the hunchback of Notre Dame. By the way, they should do a live action version of that. I wonder. You know, I don't think you could really make that a live action movie without it just being, you know, like if I did it, you know, all deformed and on the hunchback of Notre Dame. It's an old Disney movie. I don't know. I actually thought it was pretty odd that they would make something. I don't even know what it was about is just some deformed guy that. <laughs> lived in a clock tower so <laughs> it's just funny when I think about it because I just that what was a thing have no idea why or what it was about I 
I'm not laughing at anybody. I'm, you know, I'm not shaming anybody for the way that they look. Okay. That's far from what I do. I don't shame anyone. I'm pretty, I'm pretty good about what I think and what I do, you know, in my life. But it is pretty crazy to think about, you know, if, if you were to sit here and try to say that you don't judge anyone, you love everyone, you believe in everyone, almost like everybody's so great, you know, nobody's corrupted or evil or anything like that, you know, everybody's just so perfect in your world of happiness and love and we're all going to get along and we have political political messages and beliefs that we enforce to 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 infiltrate the subconscious mentality of the world and to change it because we are the change we want to see in the world man man you know you know the big you know what the big problem with everyone is is everyone just working their jobs okay we're working too much we're all just working like <laughs> no one really has time for anything you know, especially those people who have like kids and a job and all of this. You know what I mean? Like the average man with average life. And average is almost an insult, you know? Average is actually a word to describe kind of, you know, something that is kind of on a particular level of the spectrum of the plateau, you know? It's 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 used to describe it's a numbers thing, you know, like me, if I had to describe, you know, the, 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 the value of this pot, this podcast, this video, I would probably give it a hundred percent because I give everything that I do a hundred percent and it's a hundred percent gold. It's a hundred percent pure gold, diamond, emerald, jasper, whatever valuable little rocks you can pull out of the ground. That's me. But I've been talking for several minutes now, and I didn't even get to the, the, the thing that I wanted to talk about. So I should probably move on to that, because it's going to take a long time for me to explain this stuff, okay? It's going to take a while, all right? Not everybody's going to agree with what I say, all right? Not everybody's there yet. You know, people just won't even, you know side with you or agree with you or even listen to what you have to say unless they want to i don't even think it's about me being good like wow you're so naturally funny and gifted wow look at what you, look look at what you're able to do look at the respect you're commanding wow <clears throat> maybe it is about that or maybe it's just like people are just you know that way they you know they they just they're not choosing you man they're not choosing you it's okay give a pat on the back good try Gold star. Good star for effort. You got the participation ribbon. At least. At least give me that. Right? Yeah, I think that, that, that is a valid, um, that is a valid uh, response. That is a valid thing to impl implement, you know? If someone actually, if someone makes some music or, or does try to do some, some comedy or something, give them the benefit of the doubt, okay? At least, like, give them the participation ribbon type. Like, hey, you tried. Good try, buddy. But, you know, maybe you don't need to go there. Maybe you don't need to. And I mean, that that seems like it would piss someone off right there. Good try. Good try. Good try. You tried. Good good try. Ugh. But but how are you supposed to break the news? How are you supposed to, you know, ravish that truth throughout the land? Spread the news. Spread the news. Do -do -do -do. You know, no one wants you to spread the news. They're anti-news. They're anti-you. They're anti, you know, controversy of self. Too much pride to be put in the middle. Too much pride to be controversially competitive and stare at the results as plain as day like you're staring at the sun and you can't stop staring at it. And that's like, that's like looking at yourself right there, staring at the sun because it burns your eyes out. You know, you can't accept who you really are. I don't think anybody really wants to accept it, you know? Who wants to sit here and just accept their own mortality and, you know, the end and all of the things that, that kind of, you know, just get thrown 
thrown into this world and this is this is how we are now. This is who we are. This is this is it. Whoa. No? Doesn't have to be so brutal, I guess, but it seems like you know, the planet is turned into a microwave every Every, more and more every year, you know, it's just turn, turn it up, turn up the wattage, crank it up. Yeah, they didn't fix, they didn't, they didn't fix the problem. Crank it up. Nope, nope, we, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't do what we were supposed to. Because, <sighs> you know, here, here's a question. If everybody volunteered in their time off instead of, played video games and watched movies and all of this. Did we actually get some stuff done or like, like, are we actually the problem is what I'm saying. Cause like we obviously caused a lot of the problems, but like, you know, I'm, I'm talking in a generalized way. Okay. There's a lot of issues here, but, um, obviously us in technological advances and things that, you know, things that we have here, to offer us convenience have kind of complicated everything more and more and more <laughs> because and you know that's that's pretty much what what everything really is it's convenience really even you know a video game is convenient because you don't have to go do any of that stuff in real life i mean you could just do it here and experience something that's not even real which is pretty crazy if you think about it you're a human being experiencing something that's not even real that's not real that's not it that's not even here. It's off in La La Land. It's in the loony bin. It's complete insanity. But somehow you're experiencing it. I don't think we're supposed to. I don't think we were supposed to experience any of this stuff like this. Like, if we think about it, it's like, were we real? I mean, like, well, you know, you can say, well, were, were we supposed to exist? Were, was anything supposed to, supposed to anything, really? Was it really anything meant to be? I don't know, you know, you say, yeah, I met my wife and we were meant to be. Well, no, that's probably the wrong impression. I met my wife and we're meant to be. We're definitely meant to be. It was destiny. We're together. We fit so well. We're two peas in a pod. I don't know if anything is really meant to be. Is it? Is it? Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. Ah, <sighs> you could probably mean you could probably meant to be if you were meant to be if you made yourself meant to be make yourself meant to be fulfill your own prophecy your own destiny you don't have to follow the guideline of some random book or something some some person on the internet trying to tell you you who you really are you know isn't that what people do with their success though they that's what they really like about it don't they is it because you're rich or you have you're successful at something considered better than other people, then that's somehow a statement to other people like, yeah, I put you in your place. Yeah, get in that corner. Think about it. Think about it some more. I like it when you think about it. Yeah, you can't stop thinking about it, can you? You know, I was just an average guy, but look at me now. I did things. Far more. I did far more than you could ever do. Look at you. Look at how small you are. Look at me so big. Because when I was young, I wanted to be big and grow up. Grow up. Whoa. Whoa. Look at me. Ah. Ah. What a bunch of freaks anymore, you know? It is basically just one big circus, you know? The internet. It's one big party, it's one big circus, it's just one big shebang, you know, whatever. Jeez. But what I was trying to talk about, which I still haven't even got, I just doubled the minutes here. Yeah, this is this is a prepaid cell phone plan. Doubling your minutes here, talking to you. I'm pretty much talking to you on the phone, but you don't get to respond really, like, verbally. Like, we could talk, but... There'd probably be, too, you, know, there's, you know, whenever I have conversations with certain people... There's too many things that I need to explain to them. And, you know, I know that I would be in that situation, too. Like, if I went and tried to talk to someone, there'd probably be too many things that they need to explain to me. And they're not really, like, a college professor or something. They're not really there to, you know, give me a lecture. 
getting a conversation and then they're giving you a history lesson or something. Unintended educational value. But yeah, you can crank out some. If you just have casual conversations, you can't extract information from people. <clears throat> they're not going to be like, hey, look, we've been talking for a while and most of the time it was you asking questions. And I know that we're just like two people talking out in public, but I have a very significant intelligence bubble here in my head or, you know, home base, whatever. This is Commander Zone Alpha here. And you're kind of squeezing the orange, squeezing the melon, cranking out that juice and trying to sipple up some. You're trying to lick up a little bit of them drips off the side of that watermelon. Watermelon be in my head. And uh, I'm thinking I'm going to have to charge to talk to you because, you know, if I'm going to help you understand stuff, then... I mean, it seems like something I should get paid for. Like, I'm pretty much a tutor at that point, right? Like, this isn't a conversation. This is me giving you, like, a college course, you know, on something that doesn't even exist. Is, isn't that what we're doing here, though? Isn't that what all this stuff is, is just alternative college courses? If you really think about it, if, if I'm talking in a video right here, and I offer you something like, like, there's some kind of educational value there. I don't know. Like, I'm not necessarily just trying to teach the same lesson to every person. Like, yeah, I'm teaching you that I have style and I have an ego that's being fulfilled because I'm empowered and I'm a good actor and I'm so funny. Like, that's not really what I'm trying to communicate to people. Like, that's not, that's like such a simplistic message. I mean, some people get by with it. They probably don't really have much to say beyond that. Like, I just need to communicate that I'm the best and by by doing that, you know, you know, what I need to do to do that is I need to appear and I need, you need to feel it. He needs to feel it. It can't just be like you're looking at an everyday person though. Whenever you experience me, you got to experience the extreme of what a human being can be. The extreme of a personality. This has got to be robust, man. You know, this has got to be like head button, a gorilla or something. I don't know. It's got to be like staring an elephant in the face. And the, you know, the tusk is going to jab your eye out. In the best way possible. So I could go on. I could go on with this stuff. But you know what? <clears throat> the same narrative forever for the rest of your life. You know? And this is kind of a crazy thing to think about. Because I feel like I'm constantly living a narrative. And I'm constantly narrating myself with the things that I think. And once I reach a conclusion about a person and their life. Then I move on to the other person. And so I'm almost like psychologically profiling people. And everybody does it. I mean, you kind of just, eventually you start to get bright enough to the point where you're like, oh yeah. Well, but but you know, then again, maybe you're not bright enough. You're not smart enough. You're not focused enough to really pay attention to people that much, you know, honestly. Um, or, you know, you just don't have the brain capacity to really, you know, dig in there and uh, crank that lever or whatever. You know what I mean? You, you, you you don't really have that talent or skill, you know, of a analytical motivation to be able to analyze people, to be able to think truly and bluely and great and better. Yeah, I reach for the stars. I can define what a human being is inside and out, psychologically, physiologically, and philosophically. Wow, I am giving a college lecture. I'm not trying to do that, though. This is style. This has too much style to be a college course. That's a lame stuff crap. I'm not part of that. That industry of lies and scams. You can learn anything for free on the internet. <sighs> but the never-ending narrative, you know, it's... That's what, that's what it becomes. It just changes over time. That's all it really does. You know, and then you re you reach a certain point to where you you reach the end game of your life narrative. That's what happens, and uh, so I think if you do that enough, then maybe you will get somewhere with it. But you know, if your brain really doesn't have that much fluctuation or functionality, then you may might not be able to accomplish really too much. You know, 
with 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 this massive operating system you call your human brain. So, I mean, I'm not trying to condescend anyone. I'm just I'm just trying to talk broadly, you know, generalize everything. So I'm not really considered attacking anybody. <clears throat> I wouldn't want to attack anybody. No, no, I'm not attacking anybody. I'm talking in a very sophisticated manner. No misbehavior here. No, no, I don't need the misbehavior aspect of my comedy to, you know, impress other people because I'm misbehaving and we're misbehaving and going against the alpha motive, the constraints of control, which hold us in place. I don't need to be a cool rebel. I don't need to give a rebel yell. I don't need to sit here and break out of prison, you know, break out of the prison. Society put me in the social prison. Rebel against everything. But yeah, you know, um, seems like most people are pretty greedy and probably out to get you, scam you, stab you in the back. Probably sleep with your wife. Probably, you know, if they took your dog for a walk, you'd probably go up missing or something, you know. Probably go sell them to someone on the internet or something. You know, you probably your dog probably isn't worth that much, but to a crackhead, you walk your dog, probably get rid of it for at least five bucks or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. Probably steal the dishes out of your sink. Jeez, can you even sell those? Are those even worth anything? Steal my dishes even? Man. Well, if you steal my dishes, hopefully they're dirty. You can go wash them yourself. Um, but yeah, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of crazy to live the same narrative over and over and almost feeling like you can't get out of it. Like, it's the same narrative. It's the same story. It's It's always ending the same. You know, you reach the conclusion, you reach the conclusion, you reach the conclusion. It's almost like the end of the movie for you, you know? But it's like, I don't know, man. Does the movie really have to end, you know? Maybe you're just in the middle. Maybe you're in the struggle, you know? Maybe you're in the beginning. But, you know, I I don't really want to pitch this kind of metaphorical kind of success story to you, you know? Pitching this beautiful, magical little segment of success yeah and i was so down on my luck and then i posted a video online and (laughs) the people loved me my dreams came true yeah 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 one out of a billion good for you good for you you know just because i did it doesn't mean you can do it probably good though you know i just i just think that that some people are just too busy to do anything you know i can't commit myself i can't sacrifice my soul to this i want to go have a beer you know that's some people you know you're better off really you're better off just being like hey you know what i'm not even gonna i'm just gonna sit back and watch the show you know there's so much stuff out there i'll let you guys try I'll let, I'll let you. I'll let you do it. I'll watch you struggle. How about that? How about I just step away? Isn't, isn't that better? Say you say you tried and you tried and you tried. You tried to succeed at something like comedy or something entertainment-wise, creative artist or whatever, whatever you're doing. Writer, whatever, director, whatever. Whatever you're doing. And um, maybe you make little crazy socks for people or something. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. I'm trying to sell some unique product. You, you come out with a brand of hot sauce or something. You know, I don't know what people do. Do you invent your own little crazy torpedo toilet paper roll? Offers people a more pleasant experience. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> Whatever you did. You know? <sighs> yes. Wait. What? Yo. Wow. <laughs> I was going on for a long time there, and I just, you know, that's the narrative of my life right there, you know. So, but at least I'm recording this, and I can go look back at where I kind of, my mind went blank. You know, but actually, I just made three videos about 25 minutes long, and this was the first time my mind went blank. Wow. But I don't want to live the same narrative for the rest of my life, you know what I mean? But it does feel like, the conclusions and everything that I think 
it almost has the same substance and the same thing. And, you know, and I think that's what people do for a while. You live kind of that narrative for a while. You think a certain way, you do things a certain way and until you're going to do something else. But it seems like some people literally never step outside of that ever. They're just, they are who they are and they can't do anything different because maybe they're not that flexible or maybe they're just perma fried into this idea of themselves. You know, this character, you know, pride, ego, joy, thinking techniques, thinking techniques, ultimate kung fu thinking, the ultimate kung fu mentality, nothing physically, no limbs flying or flinging, just people thinking, out thinking each other. That's, that's probably, probably, probably one of the sports I'm into. Out thinking everyone. I think that's what I did here. It's probably what I'm doing here. Yeah. I'm out of here.